Hello everyone, I am Teacher Edna and welcome to another awesome episode of Grade 6 Science. Are you ready? Let us begin. Today, we are going to talk about ecosystem, the tropical rainforests. An ecosystem is composed of living things and non-living things. Living things include plants, animals, and humans. Non-living things include soil, air, humidity, water, and sunlight. First, what is an ecosystem? The ecosystem is an environment where both living and non-living things exist and interact with one another. Example of ecosystem is the tropical rainforests. Living things that can be found here composed of plants and animals. Non-living things include soil, air, humidity, water, and sunlight. The producers include trees, shrubs, and other plant life in the forest. They also provide food for the consumers, which include herbivores, plant-eating animals, and carnivores, the flesh-eating animals. Feeding relationships like food chain and food web occur among species in the forest ecosystem. Food chain starts with the producer, a series of consumers, and the composers. Food web results from the interconnected food chains. There are different organisms living in this ecosystem which interact with each other. There are interactions that exist among the tropical rainforest. The first one is the commensalism. Commensalism is an interaction where organisms live together without harming one another. Here is an example of commensalism. The cattle egrets eat the insects steered up by cattle when grazing. Another one is this example. Tree frogs use plants for their protection. Another one. Orchids are attached to the trunk of a tree without harming them. The second one is called mutualism. Mutualism are both organisms benefit in the relationship. Here are the examples of mutualism. A bee or a butterfly sucks nectar from a flower and the flower reproduce. Another example, the oxpeckers land on rhinoceros or zebra and eat the ticks on their skin. When there is danger, the oxpeckers fly upward and scream a warning which helps the rhino or the zebra. Another interaction is called the competition. It is an interaction wherein organisms compete for their survival. Example of competition is, for example, the grass, shrubs, flowers, and trees grow together in one area where they compete for the source of food, sunlight, soil, nutrients, and other things needed for their survival. Another example of competition is, in the rainforest, many of the big cats such as tigers, jaguars, and leopards all compete for food that includes small mammals, rodents, warthogs, antelopes, and monkeys. Another interaction in the rainforest is called predation. Predation is a kind of interaction in which one organism kills smaller organisms for food. In predation, there is a predator. It is an organism that eats another organism. And the prey, which is the organism which the predator eats. Here is an example of predation. The spiders is spinning webs to trap and kill insects. 
Another example, the snake eats rat for food. Did you learn something today, kids? Let us have a recap. The ecosystem is an environment where both living and non-living things exist and interact with one another. The tropical rainforest is one example of an ecosystem. The living and non-living things exist in the tropical rainforests. The living things in the rainforest are the plants and animals, while the non-living things are soil, water, sunlight, and humidity. Here are the interactions among tropical rainforests. Commensalism, mutualism, competition, and predation. Quiz time! Direction, identify the interaction of organisms shown in the picture. Number two. Number Number four. And number five. Time to check your work. Number one is predation. Number two, commensalism. Three, competition. Four, mutualism. And number five, predation. I hope you learned something today from our lesson. Once again, this is Teacher Edna. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for more updated videos. Bye!